DIY Life Hack Mama presents Education Sunday. Today's topic, where'd that meme come from? The origin of the free white person's meme. It is not a meme, but it is an excerpt from Black's Law Dictionary, 4th edition, West Publishing Company. Three, two. Hi, this is La La and DIY Life Hack Mama. I'm two persons. Anyway, happy Passover. I was just sitting here, minding my own business, surfing the net, and I ran across this free white person's passage. I don't even know what I was looking for, but I saw it. And I'm like, that doesn't look like a filter or any type of foolishness. I just, it seems genuine, like it comes from a book because it was the inner column, right-hand column of a left page, the way the book is slanting, the page is slanting in this meme right here. And I'm like, okay, I understand it's the Naturalization Act. I want to find that passage, that definition. You're not just going to tell me it's a meme. It took me maybe three, three and a half, maybe hours. I don't know. But I finally found it. As you can see, the meme is everywhere. I saw this website where it's coming. I saw that right here. I saw the website, but when I went to look for the meme straight out, this is what I found. The Naturalization Act of 1790. Wanting to avoid another monarchy since freedom from Great Britain, American forefathers set forth the Constitution of America in 1787, but without a detailed consideration to immigration. Who is a natural born citizen? Or more precisely, who should we let claim rights and nation build in our country? The Naturalization Act of 1790 was the first attempt at ground rules. One would have had to uphold the Constitution, live in America two years, be of good moral character, and renounce allegiance to foreign rule, caveat being as long as one was considered a free white person, thusly the meme. The slave trade of Africans was looked well upon back then, and African human beings, who were then considered chattel, could not become citizens. Who then is a free white person? This is where the meme comes in. Posted upon many Pinterest sites, web pages, and the like is an excerpt from Black's Law Dictionary, a book for those studying law. It's by West Publishing Company, fourth edition, and on page 792 is the definition of free white person. This took several hours or a few hours of research. I don't know, it just seemed like a long time, but maybe not. All right, here we go. I took a, a snapshot, screenshot of where I saw it. Um, I found it, uh, this Black's Law Dictionary PDF form, just on the internet. Um, no copyright infringement intended. It, it was freely available after searching because uh, the internet was trying to lead me to believe that it was only a meme. I'm like, that doesn't look like only a meme. That looks like it's a printed, bound, written volume. <laughs> and look, this is a printing press set type. Okay, that's what I know. I grew up on books. And it's kind of hard to, in my opinion, it's kind of hard to fake that. How do you, how would you fake the, I mean, because in the original meme, it's a snapshot of the book. Someone took a picture of the book, the, the little, what they wanted you to see. What I have is a PDF, and I just highlighted what they wanted you to look at, which is the free white person's definition. The my American forefathers went to the, the length to define who they wanted in their society. They find ownership in the new land. They did not want to be ruled again. They did not want anything that they did not want. We're just going to put it that way. So they wanted to be able to say who can come in, who can come in and stay, 
and to what lengths and who can't come in and stay and 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 so on and so forth but i was really um off put that i had to search for this actual photograph of this book it's a law dictionary and I, I, you would think that it would pop right up, but no, it doesn't. I had to actually dig for it. When I say dig, I mean dig it. I really had to dig to find this. It's not a meme. This is what American forefathers had to go through to uh, bring us to the point we are today. You may not like it. It's not always pretty. They thought the way that they thought. They did what they did. And we have what we have today. I'm telling you right now, if people don't listen to God, I'm, they're not going to really listen to anybody else. You're not going to get any better than what God has out of us. I just don't know where we get the idea that anything different can happen. <laughs> anyway, you can read the rest of this for yourself and go search and do a quick little read like I did. It's not that long. I just wanted to bring this little thing to you because it took so much of my time. Actually, I'm just chilling. And it didn't really take any, it's two o'clock. It's, I still got the whole day. This wasn't my whole day. Okay. Well, thumbs up, click like, you know, um, subscribe and all that good stuff. And, um, hang loose today. Think about the Lord. Bye.